हाय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास ऑलरेडी वी आर स्टार्टेड अवर सेकंड चैप्टर दैट इज़ द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो इट इज़ अ थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट बीट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज़ अ टेलर साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट और यू कैन कॉल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट इन फर्स्ट वीडियो ओनली आई टोल्ड दैट टेलर इज अ मैनेजमेंट साइंटिस्ट और मैनेजमेंट थिंकर हु डिस्क्राइब सम रूल्स और रेगुलेशन टू कैरी आउट सम कैरी आउट द बिजनेस ओके सो वॉट आर द रूल्स अदरवाइज वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल्स मेड बाय द टेलर दे आर नो दे आर ऑन अ साइंस बेसिस ओके सो फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल एज अ principles of scientific management or taylor scientific management so what is a scientific management means application of science for each and every element of management means where is a management you are going to apply the scientific rules or regulation for that we are going to call as a principles of scientific management okay so taylor described the four principles of scientific management which are that just list out it here okay so science is not rule of thumb that is the first one harmony not discarded and third one cooperation not individualism fourth one development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity okay so let's see what is the first one science is not rule of thumb okay so what it mean job performed in every organization should not be based on institution experience fit and mass method what is the meaning of this sentence science is not rule of thumb means what in organization manager describes some rules and regulation by their own way okay so according to their knowledge they are describe some rules and regulation but that is an institu institution okay so always it is not like that means according to that rule and regulation you should not carry out your business you should means according to your experience sometimes experience may be wrong so according to experience also you should not take any decision according to fit and mass method otherwise trial and error method according to that also you should not take any decision regarding to your business then how to take a decision for a business so what are the decision you are taking for your business behind that something scientific reason should be there and that reason should you should analyze that means what what are rules regulation you are made for your organization by a manager no so always these rules are not correct sometimes this can be changed so think scientifically and analysis that and implement that thing it is going to tell by a tailor okay so what the second thing it is going to tell by a tailor decision based on scientific analysis okay just only i told what are you, what you are taking a decision for your organization this should be based on scientific analysis rather than experience rather than self uh, intuition rather than trial and error method you should take a decision on a scientific analysis next one best way of doing a job must be selected and adopted through scientific study and analysis so what you are performing your job in an organization how that should be selected see to do one single work there are multiple ways are there okay so which way you are going to choose how you are going to choose to do that job you should choose on a scientific study and analysis basis rather than the rule of thumb i hope you are clear this thing okay so next one is harmony not discard so what is a harmony means so within or before that just see harmony means um, coordination between manager or worker there should not be conf any conflict between manager and worker the work should be run smoothly that is the meaning of harmony so within organization two groups are there one is worker and another one is manager so what the worker is think worker is thinking that manager uh, manager will be unpaid or they are not give, going to give a salary otherwise they are going to give a less salary otherwise what the worker think they they are thinking unpaid by a manager otherwise over burden of work it it is a thought of worker about manager okay so at the same time manager also have a thought about Uh, workers also what the manager think at that time workers are lazy they are not good for nothing or they are useless just like manager think about the worker okay so what is the attitude between these two people 
about each other okay so that should be changed there between conflict attitude it should be changed in terms of harmony okay so what is mean develop positive thinking for each other it is a very necessary and work with the harmony and understanding so manager should understand to worker and workers also understand to manager so avoid a conflict try to avoid a conflict any conflict between manager or workers you should try to avoid it okay so both both should be realize the importance of each other very important point why because without worker manager should not carry out any work and without manager worker should not know what to do okay so both are important for a organization and both should know importance of each other so what i am making here red indication no for that all four points we are going to call as a mental revolution of workers and manager about each other so it is called mental revolution okay so manager should share so what is the responsibility of manager to make the harmony among the organization so manager should share gains with the worker what are the profits manager going to get within their organization no he should share with their uh, workers also and worker must contribute their best rather than the laziness rather than the uh, any useless things worker should contribute their best thing for the organization i hope you are got the second point okay so third principle is cooperation not individualism so what is the meaning of it cooperation means all of you know it is a cleared in first chapter so what the tailor insists that there should be cooperation between worker and manager so there should be proper co cooperation between worker and manager okay so manager must try to win the confidence of worker because workers are very important resources for any kind of organization so manager should try to win the confidence of worker by uh, participating them into decision making process so how to win a confidence of worker means what what are the decision you are taking for your organization you should ask to your worker so you should take the guidance from your worker at least what they are suggesting at least you should hear the thing means participate them into decision making process then worker going to think about the manager positively because if the manager is trying to make the uh, trying to uh, taking a uh, advice from worker no so workers also try to give a best otherwise they are also going to cooperate with the manager so worker should not go on strike and don't make an unreasonable demand okay so what is a work work of manager here to make a cooperation manager should try to make a participate in into decision making process and what is a cooperation part of a worker worker also should not go on a strike otherwise they don't make any unreasonable demand then only cooperation it is possible otherwise not okay so what is the last point that is a development of each and every persons to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity so here development of each and every person it may be a manager it may be a worker he or she it may be a girl or boy gender not a matter here okay so for greatest efficiency and prosperity so what is the meaning of it business efficiency so what is the efficiency already all of you know doing a task correctly with the low cost okay so when workers are efficient and works are efficient when they are trained okay so how you how the manager going going to increase the efficiency of worker when the worker have proper training of their job then only they can perform their job in good manner so that's why when manager should train to worker so it can increase the efficiency and prosperity okay so what the next tailor insist that employee should be select scientifically rather than uh, what you call um, um, biasing things okay personal biasing things you should select a employee on a scientifically means proper he are taken a knowledge of that field or not you should check it uh, he have capability or experience or not you, you should check it rather than the personal bias so what the employees are you are choosing no they should select scientifically second one assigned a work according to ability okay so what is assigned a work 
according to ability means what what employee you are choosing for your organization according to the ability of that worker you should assign the work to that uh, worker means what for a ca who, who are uh, have the experience within a ca otherwise he is educated from a ca that is a charter accountant so you should assign a work what are the financial things you should assign a work to that ca person if any engineering is there you should assign a production work to that person okay so that means according to the ability you should assign a work there okay so what is the last one uh, give training and increase efficiency of worker okay so what if the workers is not able to do their work rather than uh, scolding him otherwise higher and fire things rather than that you should give a proper appropriate training to your employees and increase the efficiency of your worker also as well as increase the efficiency of your organization also so these four points are described by the tailor the according to exam point of view these are very very important so be concentrate on these points okay so thank you if you have any doubt please ask okay so thank you bye bye take care